Hello, this video shows how to create a VR application using Godot 4.0.1 and Godot XR tools. First open a web browser, and then navigate to the Godot website. Click on Download Latest and then pick the standard Godot Engine 4.0.1 download. After the download has completed, open the download folder. Then extract the contents of the zip file. Navigate into the extracted folder and launch the Godot application. Dismiss the Open Assets Library pop-up. Click on the New Project button, then enter Godot VR Demo for a project name and click on Create Folder. Then click on Create and Edit to create the project. Click on the Asset Library button at the top of the window and search for Godot XR Tools. Select Godot XR Tools for Godot 4 and download it. Once downloaded, click on the Install button. The files will be extracted into the project and then loaded and converted for use. Open the project settings and switch to the plugins tab. Enable the Godot XR Tools plugin. Switch back to the General tab, then scroll to the XR section and enable both OpenXR and the associated shaders. Then click on the Save and Restart button. Click on 3D Scene to create a top-level 3D node and rename it to Main. Save this scene as main.tscn. Right-click on the Main node and add a child of type XR Origin 3D. Add an XR Camera 3D node under the Origin. Add two XR Controller 3D nodes under the Origin. These will be used for both hands. Move the camera node up 1.8 meters for an approximate player height. Move the first controller up 1 meter and left half a meter. Move the second controller up 1 meter and right half a meter. Rename the first XR controller to left controller and the second to right controller. Set the left controller tracker to left hand and pose to aim, then set the right controller tracker to right hand and pose to aim. Navigate into the add-ons, Godot XR tools, hands, scenes, low poly folder. Drag the left-hand low scene file under the left controller node, then drag the right-hand low scene file under the right controller node. Create a static body 3D node under main and rename it to ground. Add a mesh instance 3D node under the ground node. Then set its mesh to a new plane mesh and set its size to be 10 by 10 meters. Add a collision shape 3D node under the ground node and set its shape to a new box shape 3D. Resize the box shape to be 10 by 1 by 10 meters and move it down half a meter so its top lines up with the plane. 
Add a directional light 3D node under main, then move it up clear of the player and twist the light so it's pointing down. Add a world environment node under main, then create a new environment. Under background select sky, and then under sky, create a new sky. In the sky, create a new procedural sky material. Finally navigate to the XR folder in Godot XR tools and drag the start XR scene under the main node. This node will start VR when the scene starts. Save the scene modifications, then browse to the main scene file, right-click on it and set it as the main scene. Click on the play button to test out the scene with your VR headset. To add movement to the player, expand the XR Origin 3D node, then browse to the Add-ons, Godot XR Tools, Functions, Folder. Drag a movement direct scene under the left controller. Drag a second movement direct scene under the right controller. Drag a movement turn scene under the right controller. Select the left controller's movement direct node, then set the maximum speed to 3 meters per second and enable strafing. Select the right controller's movement direct node and also set its speed to 3 meters per second. The movement turn node should already be correct, and a player body node will automatically be created. Save the scene and press play to test it out. The controller joysticks can now be used to move, strafe, and turn the player, 